What is up everyone? I'm Jojo the Techie. Uh, welcome to a new video. Today we're going to talk about the Lenovo USI Pen. was very recently released at the very affordable price of $39.99 US dollars but still kind of late considering um, that the tablet was released back in May. In these past four months Duet owners have pretty much resorted to buying any sort of USI pen that came into the market. There was the HP one, there was the one from iPlume but really I just wanted to wait for the real thing to come out made from Lenovo to go with the Lenovo Chromebook Duet and it's finally here. So before I get into the pen and how it actually performs, I wanted to talk a little bit about what USI means. USI stands for Universal Stylus Initiative, basically to come up with a standard that all devices will use as far as a stylus uh, pen was involved. Um, pretty much like the way that Wacom is a standard at this point, USI wanted to come up with its own standard that was going to be universal or open. That means that any manufacturer could choose to sign up and be part of this initiative and basically create um, something that will be compatible with any device across the board which is good news because google actually signed up for this so now we have a slew of chromebooks that are compatible with usi but we didn't have many usi pens to go with it but now we do now i'm not an artist so this review is going to be strictly on note taking i do not know how to draw i can barely draw a stick figure so this is just basically on how I think the pen performs when taking notes. So I'm going to be using a couple of apps. So I'll basically just be showing how it performs as far as palm rejection and accuracy. So stay tuned. I'm going to start by addressing the most asked question, pairing. Is there a pairing process with the USI pens on Chrome OS? The answer to that is no. Chrome OS supports USI stylus natively, so there's no need to pair anything. It just works out of the box presenting you with a stylus tools icon next to the control panel where you can access some quick pen actions such as capturing a specific region of the screen, capturing the full screen, creating a note right off the bat, but we'll go back to that section later, using a magnifying glass if you ever have the need for such a tool, or using a laser pointer which can come in handy if you are presenting. Now I'm going to go back to that create note section. You can tap on that and it will open to whichever app you have set as the default to open notes. In this case, I'm using Squid, but I could change that to, let's say, Keep Notes by going into Settings and selecting Keep from the drop down. With Keep, you get a few extra options here as being able to take notes straight from the lock screen or keeping the latest note there as well. As you can see, after changing my default to Keep, when I choose to create a note, it will open now with that app instead. Now that we have a note open on Keep, let me show you how this works. The pen is responsive. I do notice a very slight delay from the time that I put the pen down on the tablet and when the stroke follows the motion I'm making. It's as if it's waiting for you to start and it takes some microseconds to follow. It's not a huge deal, but it is noticeable. Another thing that I do notice is that it's on this app, the stylus does not recognize different levels of pressure, which means no matter how hard you press, the line weight will remain the same. You can change the line weight manually from the settings, but you can't just press harder to get a thicker stroke. Now, let me switch over for a moment to Squid, which is frankly my favorite note-taking app right now on this tablet. I find that the pen behaves much better on this app, which by the way, you can get the premium version for free for six months via the Chromebooks Perks page, if you have an eligible Chromebook that is. There's nothing to lose here, just go and check to see if you have the perk available and claim it. Now, on this app I find that the pen is way more responsive and has this very nifty feature where you can use your finger as an eraser. So if you want to erase a word or even an entire section of what you've already written, just use your finger. The pen follows my strokes almost to the T, and I really don't notice any lag at all, not even when writing in cursive. 
There is a setting for pressure, but I find that it really hasn't made a difference in this case. So I'm not sure if it's actually working. Maybe if you're actually drawing or using a drawing app, it'll actually show. Um, you can also use a highlighter and many other features if you do have that premium version as well. As far as palm rejection, now this is a pain point of mine. I don't know if it's the way I write, the way I hold my pen, or what it is, but I have serious issues with getting my palm to not start some erratic pinch to zoom or cause the page to rotate. I have been reading about palm guards that you can purchase, but this really shouldn't be necessary. It should not be an issue at this point. How about we get the software to work as intended and get palm rejection working? Come on, Google, get on it. Just a thought. Lastly, I wanted to show you guys how you can use the virtual keyboard to actually write with your pen, and that writing will be recognized and turned into typed text. This was highlighted by the guys at Chrome Unbox, and I think it's a very handy but underused feature. Honestly, I don't think many people actually know about it. Well, that's it for my opinions on the Lenovo USI Stylus. I'll be dropping a link below with more info on where you can purchase your own. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you can get notified when I have new videos.